Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is T. Today I decided to talk about 21 things that you should quit so you can live a slower and happier life. The first thing that you should do is stop doom scrolling. I know it's hard, it's so entertaining, it's so relaxing, but when I used to be on the internet and I would doom scroll, I would be sitting there for hours just scrolling. Giving up the internet, I personally believe it has made me a lot more productive and a lot more intentional with the things that I do in life. The next one is only reading self-help books. While I do think it's important that we do read books for education, I also think it's important that we read books that we love just so we don't lose that love for reading. The next thing that you should do is stop letting others tell you what you should do with your life. We all do this when we're younger. Our parents come up to us or family like, I think you'll be good at this. I think you should do this. At the end of the day, it's your life, not theirs. So continue on doing what you want to do with your own life. Stop spending time on things you do not love. I did this for a really long time in my 20s. And you know, at the end of my 20s, I was pretty much over everything. I was just like, I can't do this anymore. I'm not happy. My life it isn't getting better. My happiness is getting worse. Is it really worth it at the end of the day? For me, no, it's not. Stop trying to fit the mold. You guys know what I'm talking about, the mold. The mold that people put you in. The mold that you put yourself in. It's not a one size fit all. It's not for you. Don't try to mold yourself into something that's not meant for you. Stop trying to fit the mold. I remember being in college and constantly feeling like I had to be doing something at that moment when in reality I didn't unless I was like studying for class or resting so I remember just doing a lot of mindless productivity you know when you feel like you did so much but nothing got done yeah that was me constantly and I think that's due to society telling us that we always need to be doing something at any moment, at any given time. We need to be being productive. You gotta be doing something. All this stuff, when in reality, resting is productivity. Taking some time for yourself and your mental health is productivity. So no more mindless productivity. Stop reaching for everything. Everything isn't meant for you. And sometimes we just want those things because other people has them, not because we actually want them in our lives. Stop buying so much stuff. You don't need 12 foundations, three, 10 lipsticks, eight mascaras. You don't need it. Stop buying so many things. Stop forcing things that you don't want. This your life. If it's not meant for you, it's not meant for you. There's no need to force it. Stop giving advice if they don't ask for it. There's been so many times where I've given advice to loved ones and friends and, and they don't listen. <laughs> So you can say whatever you want to say. You can give the best advice in this world. If someone does not want to follow that advice, they are not. So once again, don't give advice unless they ask for advice. Sometimes some people just need a listening ear. Stop planning your life too far ahead. I don't mean not to have goals, of course. Have your goals. But when I say too far ahead, I mean don't have a plan to be married by this age and a husband and kids by this age because 
it does not work like that. It does not go according to plan. So take it from me. Don't waste your time. Don't plan that kind of stuff ahead of time. Your career, yes, of course. Your goals, have goals. But to plan out your life from little thing to little thing, don't do it. Don't do it. Stop judging people. One thing about life is karma do not discriminate. You can judge a person for doing one thing and then next thing you know, you're doing that exact thing. Nothing good ever comes from it because guess what? We're not better than that person. Just because that person is making a different decision that, than what we would make doesn't mean we're better. There's no need to judge. Just go on about your life because honestly, if it's not affecting your life, there's no reason you should care about it. Stop rushing life. There's no need for it. There's no point to it. You're not really saving time. And if anything, you're actually letting life go by. You're not even taking the time to enjoy the moment that you're in. So you're kind of missing life when you rush life. Stop eating out. I wish I could tell you guys how much money my boyfriend and I save from not eating out. Like, we rarely ever eat out now. It's pretty nice. It's, there's days when I'm just like so lazy and there's like not really much to eat in a house or I don't feel like whipping up something really fast and I, I, I really have the urge to go and get something. But every time that happens, I'm like, it's just not gonna be that good. It's not gonna be that good. Stop oversharing. Everybody don't need to know your business. Get a therapist if you want to share a lot, okay? It's not okay to overshare and dropping your trauma on other people is not okay. So my biggest thing is no oversharing. The last four that I have for you guys are stop talking so much. It's okay to just sit and listen to other people. You don't always have to have an input. The next one is stop ignoring self-care. Uh, we all need it, honestly, whether it's taking a quick bath, doing a puzzle, coloring, just sitting down and resting for a couple minutes. We all need to have some sort of self-care routine in our daily routines. Next one is, I used to do this a lot, but shut, stop shutting down when someone says something that you don't like. It's okay to have a conversation with someone. It's okay to disagree with someone, but shutting down is not the answer because you don't really resolve anything. You don't get your feelings out. You don't, you, it's just, it's not an effective way to move about in life as an adult. And the last one that I have for you guys today is stop caring, okay? Just, I know it's hard. I know it's really hard to stop caring, but once I got off social media, I truly just don't care that much about much at all. Like, at all. And it's, it's a really good feeling. I don't care about what people think of me. I don't care about like, when I'm going out and about and I don't have to put on makeup because I'm not confident. Like, no, I, I'm confident with or without makeup. So stop caring how other people perceive you. I'm not saying going around being a butthole to everybody, but what I'm saying is the way they see you does not affect your life, okay? It does not affect your life in any way, shape, or form. Stop caring. It's, it's not that deep, it's not that serious. Just move on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and give this video a big thumbs up. Um, also, let me know what you think about the different kind of, like, it's a different kind of style. I'm not just like sitting in one place talking to you guys. I'm moving around. I'm actually doing certain things as I'm speaking with you guys. So let me know what y'all think about this style of video along with tips. I think this is more, less boring. Let's just say that. I think it's less boring. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.